It's going to have to be somebody who's literally. So, recocking. If you guys are good with. I'm uh, Captain Christopher Adsit. Uh, I'm the project officer for anti armor systems uh, at Marine Corps Systems Command. Yeah, so the MAWS is the multi-role, anti-armor, anti-personnel weapon system. It's an 84 millimeter recoilless rifle uh, with an integrated fire control system that includes laser range finding. Uh, and it comes with a suite of ammunition to provide a bunch of different capabilities. Uh, so standard HE, that would be provided by current AT4 uh, or law, uh, as well as some of the things provided by the SMAW. Uh, so it has other rounds to include um, illumination, uh, smoke, uh, anti-armor, uh, anti-structure, uh, as well as a, a bunker buster type. Uh, so it, kind of, it varies based on the rounds, right? So based on the different rounds I just talked through, right? So it can provide squad illumination, it can provide uh, smoke and obscuration via the, the smoke round, uh, it can provide you know, high explosives for destruction of uh, targets, of course, uh, field fortifications and things like that through some of the other rounds. Uh, depending on which round you're talking about, the ranges can vary you know, between 50 meters close in up to 1,300 meters. 
Yeah, so right now we're out here doing uh, what we call new equipment training. So uh, SOI East is the first unit that's getting fielded in the Moz. Uh, so we're out here making sure that uh, they understand the capability, understand how to employ it safely, uh, and that's what we'll be doing uh, you know, today through the rest of this week, uh, culminating with live fire on Thursday. We're going to train them how to do this safely in training, and then of course also that always applies to how we train to, to do it safely in combat. Uh, so as we go through the course of training today and then through live fire, uh, Marines will learn how to effectively uh, and safely use the weapon uh, and then how they can do that in combat as well. So uh, I think for the MAWS, if, you know, what this is, is it's a squad level capability, right? So this is going to every squad in the Marine Corps. Uh, so this fits in with the standard squad missions uh, and it provides another capability for them to do mission planning. Uh, so, so being able to integrate this effectively uh, for the squads is just going to increase their capability um, to do the mission sets that they're already tasked to do. I'm not sure it would be So the, the MAWS is the M3A1, uh, which builds on the current M3. Uh, you often hear this referred to as the Carl Gustav, right? The Marine Corps designation for it is the multi-role, is the MAWS, as we discussed earlier. Um, so some of the soft community currently uses the M3 uh, and a, that, that, is in, that is currently fielded. Uh, what we're replacing it with the M3A1 is a you know, shorter, lighter version and has this integrated fire control. Uh, but this is the first time that it's going to uh, the Marine Corps as a whole. To the M3? Uh, well, it shoots the same round. So it shoots the same round as the M3, but the actual you know, uh, rifle has been upgraded, right? Like John was saying, so we've got the uh, Venturi is safer, uh, the whole thing is lighter, and then it's got a new fire control on it. Whereas the previous used a telescopic sight, this is a fire control uh, integrated laser rangefinder, calculates ballistic solution for you based on things like um, the altitude you're at, the temperature of your propellant, uh, range to your target, uh, and all of that into the ballistic solution uh, is designed to improve your accuracy. Yeah, so yeah, the AT4 uh, would be one that could be similar, uh, another 84 millimeter. Uh, single use though, so this will is reusable, uh, and then this, given the fire control and then some of the round suites, I think provides uh, extended range and then additional capability. Some of those things that I already mentioned as far as illumination and smoke that you wouldn't get with an AT4, uh, and then also the ability to choose different rounds. So with all the different rounds for the Carl Goose stuff, uh, you can select rounds based on your mission profile that uh, you wouldn't be able to with a disposable like an AT4.